Now the function of the snaffle bit when you're pulling on the bridle reins is basically working on two pressure points of the horse's mouth. The bar of the horse's mouth, which is right behind, right in front of the horse's bottom molars on its bottom jaw. Let's see if he'll show you. So right where my thumb is, is his gum line, okay? So when you pull on that bridle rein, the mouthpiece of that snaffle is gonna come into contact with that gum line. The other pressure point we have in a snaffle, or any bit for that matter, is across the surface of the tongue. So when both reins are pulled on equally, first thing that comes into contact is the tongue, and then as you increase the amount of pull, the bars of the mouthpiece make contact with the bars of the horse's mouth. When riding in a snaffle bit, we put a curb strap on the bottom, and this is to keep the snaffle from being pulled through the horse's mouth in a lateral pull. That's not intended to be tight or snug even to make contact with the horse's chin when you pull on both reins. This is a non-leverage bridle, so all you're working on is the direct contact to the horse's mouth. There's no curb pressure here. Now, if we were to take this uh, curb strap off, what I can do is I can pull on this rein until the whole bit is coming across into the horse's mouth. You see how that other ring is in there? Not ideal. So we keep a curb strap on there to prevent that from happening. The snaffle bit is a piece of equipment that I go to with all disciplines and all stages of training. It's a good piece of equipment for any level of rider and most horses are very willing to accept it.